Hi, I'm Nancy with Redleaf Digi Scrapping. Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial, I'll show you a quick two step method for improving just about any photograph. The tutorial is being done in Photoshop Elements 6, but similar steps can be followed in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements to get the same results. So, I'm going to be editing this photo of a building in downtown Calgary. Now the first thing that I always do whenever I'm doing any photo editing is duplicate the photo layer, the background layer. So to do that I'm going to right click on the background layer and click on duplicate layer. I'll just click on OK, leave the name as background copy. And now I'm going to turn off the visibility of the original background layer. Now the reason why I do this is because I always want to have the original photo that I can go back to in case I make any changes that I'm not happy with. So any changes that I make now are going to be made on this copy layer rather than the original that I started out with. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sharpen the photograph a little bit. Now before I do that I'm just going to zoom in on some of the detail here so that you can clearly see the difference this makes. So you can see that even though the photograph is in focus, it's a little bit soft and sometimes you find that when you're moving from film to digital, the digital images can sometimes have just a slightly softer focus. So in order to sharpen that up, we're going to come up to Enhance and then Unsharp Mask. Click on that and the Unsharp Mask dialog box will appear. Now there's three different settings that you can play with and from here it's pretty much a matter of personal preference how sharp you want this to be. So there's the amount slider that you can slide around and you can see that as you increase that amount you do get a lot of artifacts starting to get introduced to your photo. So I usually like to keep that amount down around 60% and as I said you can play a little bit with it depending on the photograph that you're using you might want to increase it or decrease it a little bit from there. The radius in the number of pixels, again, as you increase, you can see how strongly that affects the photo. And this number I like to keep fairly small, usually somewhere between 2 and 5, again, just depending on the photograph that I'm working with. And then I'll slide the threshold up so that you can see the difference that makes as well. And the more you increase it, really the less effect you get. So I'm just going to leave my threshold right at zero. So as I said, you can play around with those numbers, find the setting that you're happy with. And up here I'm just going to click off preview so you can see the difference. And that's a really good way to kind of gauge if you've made adjustments that you're happy with or not is just by toggling that preview button. So you can see that I've brought the picture into focus a little bit more. It's a little bit sharper, but without introducing all of those artifacts. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on OK. And then the second step is just to pop the colors a little bit. So I'm going to scroll back out here so you can see the full photograph again. And now I'm going to make another copy of this layer. Duplicate layer and click on OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode. So I'm going to come up here to where it says Normal. And I'm going to change that blend mode to Soft Light. And right away you can see how that really just pops and intensifies the colors. And again, depending on the photo that you're working with, you might want to back that off a little bit. So I'm going to come up here to the opacity slider bar. And you can see that as I move that down, that intensity starts to disappear a little bit. So I'm going to leave mine fairly high because on this photograph I really like the way it makes the red pop. And now the last step I'm going to do is just to combine my two copy layers so that they're back into one layer. So I'm going to click on one layer, hold down shift on my keyboard, click on the other layer, right click anywhere in this gray area and click on merge layers. So now I have one layer that has my new photograph on it. I'm going to turn on the visibility of this background layer and then I'll just toggle off the top for layer, additional the digital scrapbooking so you tutorials can see the overall for more information on where you can purchase my scrapbooking so products, how the new photograph please visit www.redleafdigiscrapping.com and it just Thanks gives for the joining photo me. that extra little pop. So that's how easy it is to take a good photograph and turn it into a really good photograph.